Summer was almost over. George and the man with the yellow hat came home from the park happy, but tired. Ah, you guys have fun in the sun? <laughs> we played an extra long game of, sorry I didn't mean to kick that over your head. George won. That was probably our last game of the summer. Summer's over, George. The weather will be turning cold soon. We'll find out exactly how soon tomorrow on Whistle Pig Wednesday. <laughs> You've never heard of Whistle Pig Wednesday, George? Here, Mr. Glass wrote this book about it. <laughs> yes, that's a whistle pig. <laughs> Are you hinting you want to read that now? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know about Groundhog Day? <laughs> well, groundhogs hibernate. That means they sleep from fall to spring, all through winter. <laughs> they don't live in houses like us. They live in burrows, which are holes they dig underground. <laughs> On February 2nd, the groundhog wakes up and looks outside. If it sees its shadow, it goes back to sleep. Because winter will last six more weeks. <laughs> Around here, we call groundhogs whistle pigs. Since we didn't call them groundhogs, we couldn't have Groundhog Day. <laughs> Back when Mr. Glass was seven years old, he met Sherry Whistlepig in Endless Park. They had a fun day. The next day was the last Wednesday in August, and he went to her home, which was a burrow in the park. Sherry saw her shadow and got scared. She started hibernating right away. Young Mr. Glass noticed the weather turned cool that very day. It was the start of fall. So Mr. Glass created Whistle Pig Wednesday. Since then, he goes to the park very early on the last Wednesday of every August and brings his friend Sherry out to check her shadow. Ah. If she sees her shadow, summer is over. It's like Groundhog Day, except it's about when summer ends. Oh. Ah. That was the kind of story that makes a monkey think about shadows. How come George's shadow didn't predict when the seasons changed? Was a whistle pig shadow different from a monkey shadow? Aren't all shadows the same? Can you lose your shadow? Now he had two shadows to compare. They both looked the same, except one was shaped like a monkey and the other a dachshund. George explained that both shadows moved over stuff the same way, and neither one predicted the weather. <laughs> oh? But Hundley had a dog shadow. To see if a whistle pig shadow was different, he needed to see a whistle pig shadow. Hundley never really noticed a shadow before. It looked dirty. Another day, another bag of trash. That trash is not trash. Huh? 
We need to separate our recyclables from genuine trash. Huh. The city's having a contest. The apartment building collecting the most recycling wins the Golden Triangle Award. Ooh. <laughs> so recycle, George. It'll make the planet and our trash a lot neater. <laughs> Recycling sounded like something George would want to help with. <laughs> Once he found out what it was. <laughs> uh-huh. Recycling can make those bottles and jars in the trash into new bottles and jars. Without it, they just pile up in garbage dumps and take up space all over the planet. <laughs> Hey, you want to go to the recycling center and see exactly how it works? <laughs> We're making an impressive start. <laughs> hello, Lydia. Oh, hello. Um, I lost a bottle there. Every little bit counts. She must really want to win this contest, Hunley. She wouldn't even let one bottle get away. Hi. Um, he wants to see recycling in action. Well, who knew recycling was catching on with monkeys? I like it. <laughs> this triangle on the bottom of a container means it can be recycled. <laughs> First, containers need to be separated, then cleaned. <laughs> Glass is broken into bits, then melted down to make new containers. Plastic works the same way. Recycled newspaper makes new newsprint. <laughs> Think you're ready to start recycling? <laughs> now you can help with the contest. <laughs> <laughs> Three cans, and it's not even noon. <laughs> I bet Lydia hasn't even gotten a bottle cap. <laughs> All right. Uh. Oh, maybe it's not going so well. Uh. If their doorman needed recycling, George was ready to get to work. But nothing was empty. <laughs> Filling up the almost empties meant more stuff for recycling. Discouraged.
George loved playing outdoors. But lately, the weather wasn't cooperating. When he wanted to play ball, it was too windy. When he wanted to fly a kite, it rained. Hiya, George. <laughs> and when he wanted to splash in puddles, it didn't rain enough. There we go. George was tired of the weather messing up his fun. Tomorrow, he was going to be ready for anything. Huh? <laughs> George, are you all right? <laughs> Gee, it looks like you're ready for any weather from snow to sunshine. Everything but fog. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've heard that some animals can instinctively predict the weather. I guess you're not one of them. <laughs> if George could become an animal who could predict the weather, it sure would make his life easier. <laughs> Do you like it? I call it Red Sky at Night, Sailor's Delight. Huh? Oh, there's no sailor, it's just a saying. Sailors learn from watching the sky that if there's a bright red sunset, the next day is usually nice. Ah. <laughs> if sailors could predict the weather from watching the sky, maybe a little monkey could too. So George decided to draw pictures of all the weather he saw, starting with the red sunset, and then the warm sunny day. <gasps> and he added that he met a cricket. The next morning, George drew the dark clouds that filled the sky. He also drew the cricket again, but drew fewer noise lines because the cricket had less to say on this chilly morning. When it rained in the afternoon, George drew that so clouds meant rain. These were turning into very useful drawings. The next day, the clouds looked very different. Hey, George, it looks like a great day. You want to go to the park and have a picnic? <laughs> George loved picnics. <laughs> but he didn't want to get caught in the rain again. <laughs> and clouds meant rain. But I thought that... <laughs> oh, okay, we can eat here. <sighs> All done, George? Boy, what a great day, huh? <laughs> but there were clouds. It should have been raining. Unless, maybe only dark clouds made rain. Little white clouds didn't. George had canceled a fun picnic for no reason. <laughs> Steve and Betsy had never seen the country, so the man with the yellow hat invited them for the weekend. <laughs> Amazing! This really is the country! Big skies, green pastures. Oh, oh, wild animal! 
cows. Sheep and cows aren't wild, Steve. They're domesticated, like Charky. Huh, Charky's pretty wild. I think I'd rather chase a cow around the city. <laughs> wow, that's the shortest apartment building I ever saw. It's a house, Steve. <laughs> left the books at home. There's so much to see, you won't have time for reading. <gasps> Whoa, Charky! Hmm. Huh. That's a rainbow. And see the gold at the end? And the leprechaun? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Rainbows are always the same colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. <laughs> I can make a rainbow. Want to see? <laughs> I make my rainbow without the sun or the rain. The flashlight is like a sunbeam. The water in the fishbowl is like a giant raindrop. Ooh. The light shines through the water and behold! A rainbow! <sighs> <laughs> Betsy's rainbow was nice. <laughs> but George wondered if he'd ever see one that spanned the whole sky. Hey, so what wild animals can I get pictures of next? Well, we've got skunks, squirrels, a moose or two. A moose? Now there's something you don't see every day on N Avenue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All done. There's your lunch. You're ready to go see the country. <laughs> I'm going to town to buy food for dinner. Hmm. It's only supposed to drizzle, but if it rains a lot, head home, okay? George knows the way. Betsy, wait! I'm not leaving without a moose picture. Holler if you see a moose. <laughs> Rain? Do we have to go back already? Mooseless? No, it's gonna stop. Look, the sun's already through the clouds. <laughs> Amazing! That's the biggest rainbow I ever saw in person. <gasps> I can't get a picture with all those trees in my way. George didn't see any gold at the end of the real rainbow from here, so he'd just have to go there. Oh, oh, oh. 